everybody hope you all having a great day today let's make this easy juicy yummy soft succulent cameroon fish pie guys this fish pie is easy the same recipe is going to be you know if i was doing meat pie so i'm going to use my grated carrots spring onions my chicken beyond cubes or no cubes this one that i'm using is my ghee you can use little salt if you want but i'm going to omit salt for this recipe guys it's so simple it's easy straight to the point and it's great guys um you can use fresh ginger fresh garlic powder or fresh garlic paste or something like that it's up to you whatever you want to use i just added little water in there guys that's my extra virgin olive oil uh, i'm using the Canili brand and i'll just put about two tablespoons of of it in there guys so i want you to know i'm sorry i'm making the video while the car is passing guys so um let's just get into it i'm just going to start steaming it i want you to know you can use any kind of fish fillet that you want feel free to use use rather fresh mackerel um i'm using tilapia fillet you can use catfish fillet you can use whatsoever kind of fish it is that you want guys and uh, the great thing is you can also use a uh, sardine that's the most common one however i they didn't or i don't have sardine at home and uh, this is still gonna taste good guys because i've had this uh, tilapia fillet at home for a while so i actually want to make sure that you know everything is um gotten rid of i want to create room for other kinds of things to do so that's all about it guys it's so simple and if you want to make it spicy go ahead and make it spicy if you don't want it spicy uh, you can actually make it not spicy so like i said there's little or uh, you know no right way or wrong way to do this i am just going to start boiling it and then i'll just use my spoon to you know like take it apart because it's definitely gonna cook really good guys um for somebody watching you may say oh two um uh maggie cubes that's a lot for it that's my pepper i want it spicy in there so i added it for somebody watching who says that oh two of this uh, maggie is too much i'm telling you i'm not gonna add salt and it's going to balance out when i do my dough because you don't want your feeling tasteless and all those kind of stuff guys so i'm just going to go ahead and you know just make everything until everything is dry i'm going to make sure the water is dry and then everything is actually you know good and it's dry enough and then i'll take it out and cool so for my dough i need butter sugar salt this is my baking powder and I definitely need my all-purpose flour and that is water. I'm not using hot water. I'm using cold water, like room temperature. So this is my flour. I'm going to put all the description, you know, uh, in the description box or all the information in the description box. I'm adding my salt and my sugar and I'm just going to mix everything. Make sure that your hands are clean, guys. Um, and right now, when I'm done with whatever I am trying to do, I will just go ahead and uh, go ahead and put in my butter or margarine. While I'm using butter, you can also use margarine, guys. There's no wrong way or right way. Like I said, if you can think of doing something, then you can, you know, surely achieve it. That is my baking powder. I'm using one quarter teaspoon of that of the baking powder guys and this is my butter right now put it in there that's a cup of butter so i like i said in the description box i will list all the ingredients that you need for this so don't worry everything is going to be in there if you have any questions i want to answer them please go ahead and comment down below so guys without further ado i'm just going to go ahead and mix it this butter is cold obviously because it was in the fridge i will just go ahead and keep mixing it and mixing and mixing and mixing until everything is like fine you know what the cock um gary it should be fine really really fine 
so that's what i'm going to do so i'll make it really really fine and uh, i will just keep mixing it guys um like i always say this and i'll say this all the time with me um there's no right way or there's no wrong way in cooking cooking is an art it's a way that you express who you are how you want things to be done so we learn you can make a mistake today and you learn if you are watching and you really want to make this fish um uh, this fish pie i'm telling you go ahead and do it with me let's do it together we can achieve it you know if we can put our minds to it guys so i'm just mixing it as you can see keep mixing and mixing and mixing until everything is well incorporated guys i'm just going to go ahead and keep mixing and i want you to know that for this recipe i am using unsalted flour my flour has no yeast my butter rather has no salt in it so it's unsalted if you are using salted butter make sure that you reduce the quantity of sugar of sugar and salts that you are using so i'm really sorry there's so much noise i don't know um so guys uh, the next thing that i'm going to do right now is that i added my water and i'm just mixing everything really really well take your time mix in sections don't just mix all over the place mix in sections and i'm telling you that you can achieve that you can you know get whatever results you want to do so just keep mixing until everything is incorporated because this mixture guys you cannot fry this mixture this mixture frying is a no no you have to bake it so if you want to see a recipe for fish pie that you need to fry let me know i'll do you know a recipe of, of that all for that so i keep mixing like i said you keep mixing and mixing and mixing and uh it's right now it's super sticky that's because like i said the mixture is so rich so i'm just gonna go ahead keep mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing and mixing mix 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 when the ball you know when everything comes together you, as you can see i still have some flour at the bottom i'll keep mixing until everything is like a ball into a ball that is not so sticky and then i'll put it in the fridge for like 15 minutes just to let it cool enough so that i can be able to work you know with it guys so that's just it i'm just mixing and mixing and mixing as you can see look at the ball right now you know it's not so you know sticky as before i'll keep mixing and mixing and mixing guys um like i always say you know make sure that you take your time get the measurements right and i it's been sitting in the fridge for like um let's say for like 15 20 minutes so remember that my mixture that i'd done before the filling i had it and it was already like you know sitting in there look at that make sure you see it's just whole it's just you know full is everything is like together and all of that so i'm good to go guys so um my mixture of what i had before is already cold so i'll go ahead and go ahead and roll it so i will if you like you can walk in batches or if you like you can roll it on a you know your surface and then you cut it out so this is you know my rolling pin and i'm just going to go ahead and use um the the dough roll it on there i you know put a little bit of flour you know on the surface and I wanted to make sure that since it's on the surface it shouldn't be so sticky and all of that guys um i've been rolling it for a minute and uh trying to fix the camera because you know i'm trying to make sure everything is in focus or in frame so roll it as large as you can and uh, each time i'm rolling i'm looking at the thickness i i'm trying to make it as thin as possible and not so so thin as well and uh, i'm also trying to make sure that whatever i'm doing i don't get a lot of dough because you know sometimes eating a lot of flour makes you gain so much weight so you want to be on the safe side look at it it's a little bit thick i'm just going to you know spread it a little bit more and then i'm going to go ahead and cut you know my mixture so like i said guys keep doing doing it and this is i'm using this plastic plate because the sides are a little bit you know like sharp so that's what i'm doing and that's it guys i'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same process i made like a full round ball or a circle rather i made a circle and i'll keep doing that and pressing and press and press and uh, i keep pressing and i'm just forming those circles like i said all round forming the circles all round and forming the circles guys so uh, 
that's just you know pretty much what i'm doing just repeating the same process there's no right way and i don't want to keep you know like rolling and rolling i'm trying to use minimize or maximize the one i've used as much as possible so the leftover circles like the ones you see sticking out or hanging out guys don't worry about those i'm gonna take it out roll it in a ball again roll it in a ball and then spread it out with my uh you know my roller and then i'm going to go ahead and carve the circles in there as well so that's just what i'm doing guys you can also do the same way i did you can just roll you know into little segments like what i'm taking now right now i'll form it into a ball and then roll it again like repeat the same process and then cut the circles in there so like i said that's just it that's what i'm doing and all whatnot guys so this is it this is my feeling it's cool right now make sure you're not working with it when it's hot right now this is cool so i'm just going to go ahead and put it in there guys put it in there and then repeat the same process over and over and over so one thing is i really love enough fish in there and uh, mind you before i keep talking about the fish i want you to know that um you can actually you know increase you can actually increase the sizes if you want you know your fish pie bigger than what i have go ahead and increase the size of whatever you have if you think that you cannot really achieve what i'm doing you can go ahead and take two separate circles and just put enough filling like add the filling and take another you know circle and add it on top of the other one and press the sides that way you have a circular fish or uh, a pie but traditionally you always have like uh, almost like a, a semi-circle so that's just what i'm doing uh, i want you to know you know for the fish if you don't like you know tilapia and all of that you can use salmon you can use any kind of fish fillet you that you like so i'm just gonna go ahead take it from one side spread it and press it so these sizes were not super big i'm making sure that my filling is really inside like a hundred percent inside so guys uh, i'm just going to go ahead and you know just keep pressing it and seal it on you know like the sides like this is so simple and uh, i'll go ahead and repeat the same process on the other side and do the same thing as well also guys so when i do that i'll flip it over or i'll repeat the same process flip it over and repeat okay guys um i want you to know first of all that i'm not if for me to bake this i can put you know like my eggs on it like beat one egg by the side to use it to brush the top to give it that brown color or if you like you can use milk um but the person because i'm doing this for a friend she doesn't like eggs like she's kind of like allergic to eggs in court i'm like i don't know who is allergic to eggs but she is allergic to it so because she's allergic to eggs guys i will not use eggs you know to like brush the tip and uh you can also use milk some people use milk for that and uh, she's kind of complicated oh she doesn't want she's lactose uh, intolerance and all of that so i will not be using you know any milk as well on there so i'll go ahead and flip it if any side is open i'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same process so guys so i'm not going to use milk neither am i going to use you know any eggs but use the egg to give it a golden brown color but because i'm baking it i'll bake it and it's still gonna have you know that brown color kind of so guys i'm just going to you know repeat the same process i've already done by sealing the sides and all whatnot repeating until i'm done with everything guys so um i want you to know that right now i'm just arranging them i'm putting them in a tray or on a tray and uh, because i'm doing that you know you can take your fork and then just press you know like the middle like poke some little holes i'll show you at the end when i'm done on the last one i'll show you how I've, i actually poke the holes and all of that repeat the same process and that's it it's so simple easy straight to the point beautiful people so uh i'm trying to clean some of the filling was out i'm trying to clean that and that's just it guys fold press repeat that's it simple as abc guys and that's just what i'm doing it's so simple easy if i can do it i'm telling you that you watching me you can do it as well guys there's no right way or wrong way it's 
it's okay to try uh, some and then maybe some of uh, of the feeling is is out you can go ahead and fix it no you know we're not going to take it to a party or showcasing you're just going to eat it at home so guys trust me just do it do you be happy and repeat that's it so that's just it i'm repeating the same process and that's it i'm going to roll it again the second time and guys i'm telling you that that's just it. so simple straightforward to the point and that's it this is the last one i want to show you what i'm going to do how i'm going to go about it i put my filling in there and when i'm done putting my filling i will just go ahead stretch the other side and then press it down and then boom 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 press 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 and guys like i told you this is how i'm going to you know actually poke it because i'm going to you know like flip it you know flip it and repeat the same thing by pressing the sides like this good and pressing 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 that's sealing it seal it seal it and then i'll use my fork to you know just poke in the middle like pop pop it could be three or four times depending on the size i'll just poke it so that when i bake it and it increases in size guys everything i just went ahead and poked everything you see like the fork marks on there and uh, that's just it that is how it looks right now i'm just going to go ahead and then bake it by now you should have preheated your oven to 350 and guys that is how it's looking okay guys let's get started gonna bake it take it out and uh, it's been baking for like 10 minutes 15 minutes so this is it i'm just going to go ahead and you know flip it uh, flip it because like i said my friend she doesn't want me to put any eggs there neither am i gonna put milk guys so i just took it out i will start flipping it you see it has some a golden brown color in there as well so that's good i'm just when i flip it it's going to be there for about five minutes maximum and then i'll turn off you know i'm going to turn off my oven and i'm good to go and it will be ready guys listen this was so good and i'm telling you i forgot to actually film the outro because look when it got right out of there i'm telling you we just started eating it and she ate and ate and left and i was like oh my gosh i forgot to do the outro for you guys guys so i'm just going to keep the picture of you know how it is because I, I was like hey i do had to take a picture and send to me like hey you better send a picture because i need a thumbnail <laughs> guys so this is it this is how it looks guys simple you can do it until next time it's better